the more you weaken the laws and the more that we become accepting of these changes, the more likely they are to attempt to do it. And I've seen this all over the world. I think Jason Miar is, I've, I've heard his speeches. I, I, I agree with him. He talks about how in Cuba, they came up and mounted up the weapons. I saw it in Venezuela. I've seen it in Peru. I've seen it in Bolivia. I've seen it in Ecuador. Once the government decides, hey, it's time to scoop up the weapons, they do. And then they always have these buyback ideas that never really make any sense because what it really is, is legalized confiscation. They may give you some modicum of compensation, but that's an excuse to disarm a population. A disarmed population is a more compliant population. It's also one that's more vulnerable to tyranny. And this is the reason that we have the second amendment and this is what we will defend. That's what I will defend for you. Thank you.